Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I would like to start with this uh, um, uh, lecture, uh, Grenadine Regulation of Dendritic Cell Function, Relation to Inflammatory Skin Diseases and Cancer Vaccine. Uh, let me start uh, some uh, information, give some uh, basic information about dendritic cells. So dendritic cells are the so-called uh, professional antigen-presenting cells. They sit in the periphery, uh, in all organs, and when they encounter a, dan a danger signal, mm -hmm. like an infectious given by, for example, an infectious agent, uh, they start maturing and migrating to the draining leaf node, uh, where they present the antigen to lymphocytes and they can mount uh, instruct uh, various immune responses, uh, polarization, uh, Th1 polarization or Th2 polarization. However, in the absence of a danger uh, signal, uh, uh, immature uh, dendritic cells do migrate in a steady state, state uh, uh, way to uh, the draining leaf node and they may carry and present cells antigens and the uh, outcome would be deletion of uh, possibly autoreactive T cells or formation of regulatory cells and then uh, with the exit of tolerance to cells antigens. <coughs> there are two hypotheses about the formation of dendritic cells. One is this, uh, that there is a single lineage and then the various uh, type of dendritic cells that you can find in the periphery derives from a kind of functional plasticity of dendritic cells themselves that uh, are uh, uh, with uh, differentiation uh, is uh, shaped by uh, various uh, uh, factors, uh, uh, microenvironmental factors including cytokines and then we will see probably also neural factors like catecholamine. And the other hypothesis is that there are already uh, spe specialized lineage uh, that give rise to the various, uh, uh, the final uh, type of uh, matured dendritic cells. And then uh, possibly uh, the uh, true is in the middle, that there is both uh, lineages uh, and uh, functional plasticity <coughs> together. <coughs> In fact, uh, in, in you can find uh, a precursor of uh, dendritic cells, uh, the so-called myeloid precursor that gives rise to, uh, for example, Langerhans cells in the skin or interstitial dendritic cells, uh, which may also derive from uh, possibly from monocyte differentiation under certain situations. And then there is uh, the other uh, precursor of dendritic cells that are the lymphoid precursor gi giving plasma cytoid DC and then the so-called DC2 into, into the leaf node. The, uh, you can see the markers of uh, uh, precursor dendritic cells uh, myeloid and lymphoid, uh, uh, the various uh, cluster of differentiation and, uh, and, and cytokine receptors. Uh, the, the difference here, you have the pattern recognition receptor, in this case the toll-like receptors, the expression that is different, and, uh, and one thing, important thing is the interferon alpha-beta production that is uh, low in the uh, myeloid dendritic cells and uh, high in the uh, plasmacytoid dendritic cells. So, uh, <coughs> The dendritic cells, they may capture uh, but, uh, extracellular parasites, um, extracellular bacteria, parasites, and, and, and toxins, and degrade them in the endocytic compartment of the cells themselves, uh, itself, and present the elaborated antigens in association with MHC class II antigen. When uh, the uh, uh, cells uh, are infected, uh, cells is infected with intracellular pathogen, uh, bacteria, viruses especially, or tumor antigens. The uh, dendritic cells may phagocyte the entire cells and uh, elaborate the antigens and present them in association with MHC class 1 model. One way will give rise to 
uh, activate the CD40 cells and possibly to antibody response, and the other way will uh, produce a cytotoxic lymphocyte response. <coughs> So what we ask, uh, the, we ask the question whether the sympathetic nervous system may influence uh, uh, the uh, dendritic cell function. And the, uh, the first things we did is to look uh, in the, the bone marrow derived dendritic cells. Practically, we took uh, bone marrow cells from mice and we incubated them for a, for a week or so in presence of GMCSS, and at the end of the culture, we uh, separated the dendritic cells by the CD, CD11 uh, cluster of, uh, marker by magnetic cell sorting, obtaining uh, over 95% pure population of bone marrow derived dendritic cells. Then we look at the uh, expression at the level of mRNA of various uh, uh, adrenergic receptors, and we found the beta-1, the beta-2, the alpha-2A, and the alpha-2C, and also the alpha-1B. And we saw that in part of this, they were also uh, expressed, that they uh, were also functionally expressed, because we could uh, demonstrate that, for example, uh, dendritic cell migration is, uh, may be controlled by alpha-1 adrenergic, alpha-1b adrenergic receptors. And then uh, if, you, if you expose uh, bone marrow derived disease to a short, uh, a short time, for a short time, norepinephrine, you get uh, different kinetic, kinetic of, of cytokine production and TH development. Either uh, others have found um, the same, similar uh, things in lung cells, and we too, we found that uh, uh, beta-2 adrenoceptors in uh, lung cells has a role in migration, cytokine production, and uh, contact, uh, contact hypersensitivity. Sensitivity. Uh, we use mainly contact hypersensitivity to various substances, but uh, <coughs> we reason at a certain point of our uh, studies that uh, uh, if uh, the contact hypersensitivity is a good model, the many skin infections and inflammatory diseases are sustained by activation of toll like receptors uh, and, the, and the, of course, the uh, ensuing adaptive immune response. So, so we ask the, the question whether the skin sympathetic nervous system would affect also the innate response to TLR2 and TLR4 agonists like uh, peptidoglycan from Staphylococcus aureus and uh, LPS, and, uh, and we did the following. <coughs> we injected intradermally mice uh, with peptidoglycan or LPS in presence or absence of propanolol, that is a beta blocker, and three and six hours later, we sampled the, the skin at the site of, uh, of injection, and we went to analyze the uh, gene expression for certain cytokines, and we found that at three hours, <laughs> uh, here you can, uh, this uh, graphic represents the ratio uh, of in gene, uh, fold increase in gene expression for these cytokines, and uh, you have here the ratio between peptidoglycan plus propanolol over peptidoglycan alone, and the same for FTS. You can see that only peptidoglycan in presence of propanolol um, uh, increased over the threshold of two that we took uh, as a threshold for uh, biological significance, increases the expression of interleukin 1 alpha, IL 12, IL 23, interferon gamma, CCL5. <coughs> At six hours, the <coughs> cytokine that remain uh, elevated at the level of mRNA was only IL-23. So uh, the uh, data we uh, obtained, and they, they are described in the paper and the publication I showed before, the, uh, the following. Alpha-2 and beta-2 adrenergic receptors contribute to norepinephrine modulation of IL-12 production in LPS-stimulated bone marrow. 
Beta 2 at energetic receptor mediated the norepinephrine stimulation of IL-10 production and LPS activated bone marrow derived dendritic cells. Blockade of the beta 2 at energetic receptor resulting in an increased migration of epidermal langer cells during CC sensitization. Uh, stimulation of beta 2 at energetic receptor inhibited the chemotactic response to the CCR7. Uh, and uh, uh, agonist CCL19, these are chemokine and CCL21. Addition of anti IL10 monoclonal antibody neutralizes this effect. These are mainly the basic findings. And so, there, because of this uh, observation, we decided to focus on beta 2 adrenergic receptor on bone marrow derived dendritic cells. And uh, uh, just to remember here that naive T cells may differentiate in various T effector cells. TH effector cells, TH2, that is by uh, the presence of IL-4 and IL-10, that is uh, uh, good to, f to fight against extracellular bacteria, parasitic worms, and but, uh, is involved also in the pathogenesis of allergy and asthma. TH1 intracellular bacteria and cancer is the, the differentiator is driven mainly by I-12 and interferon gamma. TH17 by the differentiation is driven by IL-23, transforming growth factor beta, IL-6, and is uh, <coughs> important for defense against the extracellular bacteria, auto and, but is involved also in autoimmune disease and in cancer. And uh, finally, the uh, Treg uh, copulus subpopulation, whose uh, differentiation uh, is uh, driven by transforming growth factor beta, and is uh, involved in the, is exerting an immunosuppressive effect, believed to be very important to uh, um, diminish the risk of autoimmunity. So we thought that uh, the fact that um, uh, in, in vivo, uh, beta adrenergic receptor affected uh, petidoglycan and not L L LPS, it could depend on the fact that the peptidoglycan may uh, prime uh, a balance uh, priming between Th2 uh, cells and Th1 cells. And then uh, we uh, hypothesized that uh, by uh, uh, inhibiting beta 2 beta adrenergic receptor, we could uh, blunt uh, the Th2 response and activate and bias the response to, towards the TH1 uh, uh, cells. And uh, therefore, we ask this question, in the, with this it was my former stu PhD student, uh, that whether beta 2 the energy receptors could influence uh, the dendritic cell-based cancer vaccine. <clears throat> So, uh, we took as uh, a model uh, this uh, AG7 of uh, tumor cells. It's a tumor cell that uh, was transfected with of albumin so that the antigen of albumin were uh, expressed on the, in association with MHC class 1 uh, molecules on these cells. And uh, <coughs> the dendritic cells, we incubated the dendritic cells uh, with uh, of albumin. Uh, in, in order that it would be taken up and degraded and presented in association with both M uh, M MHC molecules, so that uh, the presentation of antigen could uh, extract a T cell a cytotoxic response that ultimately would uh, uh, lyse the uh, uh, tumor cells. So the model used was the following. Uh, <clears throat> based on the um, um, preliminary experiments that I'm not showing here. In any case, we injected the tumor cells into um, intramuscularly in mice. On day zero, seven days later, we injected uh, peptidoglycan or peptidoglycan plus ICI-118551, uh, that is a specific beta-2 adrenergic antagonist. And five hours later, we uh, injected at the, si at the same site, intradermally, of albumin pulsed uh, bone marrow derived dendritic cells. And then, after day nine, uh, uh, we measured the tumor growth. The two, uh, we used two types of uh, dendritic cells one, the immature 
phenotype, with the miniature phenotype as obtained by, right from the bone marrow uh, cultures. Uh, and these were the level of uh, costimulatory molecules expression. And then we um, um, uh, induced maturation of this cell by CD40 ligation, and this is the uh, level of expression of the costimulatory molecules and MHC class 2 molecules. <coughs> So the uh, effect on tumor growth uh, was the following. You see, control uh, uh, mice injected only with saline, and, but not uh, vaccinated with uh, uh, over the uh, over pulsed dendritic cells, uh, showed the maximum tumor growth, the highest tumor tumor growth, and and the uh, mice that were pretreated, pre conditioned in the skin with saline or with peptidoglycan alone. Uh, showed a similar tumor growth, however, it was significantly lower than that of uh, control not uh, vaccinated mice. But the, the group that showed the, 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 mm, the lower tumor growth was the one that uh, received uh, as a preconditioning regimen in the skin, peptidoglycan plus the beta blocking agent. If we went to see whether this could depend uh, could uh, depend on the uh, uh, increased uh, cytotoxicity cell response. We found indeed that uh, the, the with a standard chromium 51 release, <coughs> uh, we found indeed that the group that were showing the highest uh, cytotoxic response against uh, uh, chromium uh, chromium labeled uh, of uh, uh, tumor cells um, <clears throat> were the ones that showed the lower lower tumor growth. The both the, the groups that in showed the intermediate uh, tumor growth showed also an intermediate uh, cytotoxic response. And finally, the control that showed the highest uh, tumor growth showed the lowest uh, cytotoxic uh, response. When we used uh, mature dendritic cells instead of immature dendritic cells, we got a surprise because uh, you see here that the groups that were uh, uh, pretreated before vaccination with MDC, mature DC OVA, uh, with peptidoglycan plus the beta blocking agent, showed a, a growth very similar to that of uh, shown by control not vaccinated mice the red and the green curve. And the other two uh, groups, saline and peptidoglycan pretreated mice before vaccination show a similar growing, uh, a similar growth curve. Uh, when we went to see the cytotoxic response, again, we found that uh, also uh, higher than the control uh, the control saline uh, treated mice, the uh, lowest uh, cytotoxic response was that one of the peptidoglycan plus ICI and M MDC over treated mice, and very consonant with the tumor growth, as in the, uh, in the former case with immature dendritic cells. Um, what we 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 thought to understand what was going on in this uh, with this uh, rather surprising results, we thought that uh, what, by injecting, <coughs> uh, doing this uh, skin preconditioning by injecting the, this uh, uh, peptidoglycan plus minus uh, ICI, we uh, we uh, create. A, a condition because the uh, the T cells injected and the the substance themselves that are injected in, in that is in, injected in the skin may reach the uh, draining lymph node. In this case, it was the popliteal lymph node here because we injected in the proximity of the popliteal lymph node in the foot pad, uh, and in this case, in this set of experiments and uh, create a kind of uh, environment that uh, would uh, in turn recruit uh, endogenous dendritic cells and endogenous cells into the leaf node. 
uh, and creating and therefore the difference, or possibly making the difference for the different type of immune response that we uh, we observe. Uh, if indeed what we did to, to investigate this idea was to measure the, the quantity, the number to, uh, of uh, uh, transferred dendritic cells that were labeled with the fluorescent vital dye, and uh, measure also the number of endogenous dendritic cells, the uh, CD8 minus that are the uh, myeloid uh, type of dendritic cells, and the, uh, the, that were, of course, not labeled with the, the, the fluorescent dye, and CD8 plus that was the lymphoid type of dendritic cells. What we observed was that in the, the pre skin preconditioning uh, with uh, peptidoglycan plus ICI increased the migration of transfer and dendritic cells, but very much increased, uh, especially the uh, um, recruitment of endogenous CD8 mi minus uh, endogenous dendritic cells into the leaf node and uh, uh, a similar effect but um, less uh, evident was for the CD8 plus dendritic cells. So that the ratio of the endogenous uh, population of dendritic cells after this uh, uh, treatment in, in vivo was um, uh, four times CD, uh, endogenous CD8 mi minus cells more than CD8 plus uh, cells. When we used, instead of immature dendritic cells, that was the, the first, uh, this we used immature dendritic cells in this case, when we used mature dendritic cells, uh, the, the conditioning we observed a similar increase uh, of uh, the transfer of DC, but uh, a, a very high increase of uh, the endogenous uh, dendritic cells, but at this, in, that, uh, in this uh, situation we the ratio between the endogenous CD8 minus and CD8 plus the dendritic cells was not four but one around one. So there was a, a, a more more balanced situation uh, with the, a lot of uh, CD8 minus uh, dendritic cells and uh, also uh, CD8 plus cells. So we thought that this uh, different uh, uh, population of the draining leaf node in terms of the dendritic cells could create also a different cytokine microenvironment. Uh, so we extracted the RNA from the leaf node and looking at the expression for IL6, interferon gamma, and indo uh, expression. Indo, indo is a gene that is uh, coding for uh, the enzyme IDO that we saw yesterday already. Is an enzyme that is uh, indolamine deoxygenase is transforming tri tryptophan into kinurenin, and this uh, effect is creating two, two effects. In uh, is depleting tryptophan <coughs> into the environment. It is not in, in, in environment, and uh, this is creating a kind of uh, <coughs> a reduced proliferation because tryptophan is in this indispensable for the cell proliferation and kinurenin itself uh, as an immu uh, may suppress the cell also proliferation and immune reactivity. <coughs> also, indo uh, expression is um, uh, modulated and act activated both at the pre- and post-transcriptional level by gamma interferon. So, in the case of uh, immature dendritic cells uh, activated after preconditioning with the skin the method of the dendritic cells uh, um, um, vaccination, uh, we found into the into leaf node an increased the expression of IL-6 over the, the two threshold. No effect on the uh, gamma interferon. And uh, a, a little decrease of uh, indo expression. So uh, this could depend, uh, we thought that it could depend on the fact that IL-6 may inhibit uh, indo expression, while interferon gamma seems not to play in this uh, set, experimental setting an important role. 
On the contrary, when we in injected after conditioning of the skin the matured dendritic cells, what we found there was no effect on IL-6, an increase of interferon gamma, and a very high increase of endo-expression. And this could depend on the fact that interferon gamma may regulate uh, promoting hydro uh, uh, production, and this uh, uh, could uh, reduce the availability of tryptophan and inducing a, a reduced proliferation of T cells, and IDO could increase the production of kinurenin that in turn would also in, uh, in influence the re immune reactivity in a negative sense. In fact, when we did the same uh, preconditioning, and then we look at the uh, uh, the late type of hypersensitivity response to ovagum in this mice, we found that those that were um, preconditioned with uh, uh, peptidoglycan in presence of ICI <coughs> and uh, treated with IDC ova, they did a, a good response at a good response to uh, swelling response to the to ovagum. Why the uh, those that were uh, preconditioned with uh, MDC, uh, with uh, peptidoglycan plus IC and, and, and injected with MDC OVA, were, uh, showed a much lower response. So we could conclude that the tolerance induced by M the so called tolerance is, was uh, um, over specific. <coughs> um, remember this, uh, what I showed before, that the ratio of the endogenous uh, dendritic cells in the draining leaf node after the preconditioning and, and, skin, and, and uh, DC vaccination was four in favor of CD8 minus uh, cells in the, when the immeasured dendritic cells were used and were, were uh, one when measured dendritic cells were used. And here we uh, come to a uh, Challenge a dogma and that they were, uh, since uh, some years ago the dogma was that in measured dendritic cells are not able to uh, ex uh, induce an immune response, but rather um, uh, possibly a tolerance uh, effect. While measured dendritic cells, going, uh, dendritic cells have to be matched in a mature state to induce an immune response. This seems not. This seems to be both right and wrong because, for example. Here you have an example of uh, um, a um, um, matured dendritic cells that give uh, rise to uh, a, an immune response, CTL and TH1 and so on. But you have also evidence that uh, you can have uh, a TH2 priming or uh, giving rise to, from matured dendritic cells to TH, uh, uh, T regulatory T cells or uh, <coughs> natural regulatory cells and so on. So this, uh, uh, our uh, findings is the possibly adding a, 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 I mean, a possibility to this uh, cartoon. Uh, okay, so the interpretation of our data, of our finding to explain the, the effect on tumor growth is the following. Uh, in, the, in the setting of uh, immature dendritic cells vaccination, we injected dendritic cells that, uh, of course, uh, present the uh, antigen to the uh, upper cells and the cytotoxic cells, give rise to clonal expansion. And, but in the presence of uh, um, a high amount of uh, uh, CD8 minus cells that cannot express IDO, uh, in which so you cannot produce IDO, uh, you get uh, an increased IL-6 uh, response and uh, an inhibition of IDO production from the uh, CD8 plus compartment, and this would result in a uh, sorry in a, a stopping of uh, coronal expansion. And, uh, and, and no, in uh, increased coronal expansion and in the lysis of the tumor, uh, so the tumor will grow less than in uh, uh, other groups. In the case of uh, matured and cell tra uh, transfer, uh, is the possible presentation of uh, antigen T-rex cells? This is an hypothesis. 
So the presentation of antigen to the T, T cell, T alpha cells, and T cytotoxic cells, in presence of a, a good uh, less um, uh, high, uh, um, high uh, production of uh, uh, IDO, IDO, typical common catabolites, uh, increased by the interferon gamma, that is, uh, was increased in this uh, situation. And this would stop the clonal expansion of the T helper and T cytotoxic cells and let the tumor grow. So the conclusion of this finding, this uh, study, is that beta-2 adrenergic express it on this, in the skin at the site of vaccination play a role in cancer <coughs> vaccination. The uh, mRNA expression after skin uh, preconditioning uh, of cytokines uh, with uh, peptidoglycan plus ICR uh, reveal a TH1 shift of uh, the, the response. The inhibition of beta-2 adrenergic receptor influenced, uh, influenced cancer, so therefore cancer vaccination and CTL activity depending on the uh, maturation state of uh, the dendritic cells. With a matched dendritic cells who are immunogenic, while matched dendritic cells promote tolerance. Uh, the ratio of CD8 minus and CD8 plus endogenous DC correlated with the expression of IDO in the lymph node. Uh, the, C, uh, the delayed type of hypersensitivity response suggests that the, te the, the tolerance of induced by this uh, treatment was antigen specific and that the sy sympathetic nervous system seems to affect the outcome of cancer vaccines and the other inflammatory stimulus like the LR7 or the LR9 agonists that are currently uh, tested in clinical trials might uh, also be affected by beta-2 receptor inhibition, and this would have an obvious clinical relevance. The sympathetic nervous system seems to be uh, <coughs> involved also in the decision-making mechanism choosing between immunity and tolerance because of uh, uh, the sympathetic nervous system might therefore be involved also in the pathogenesis of immune disorder. Uh, MDC are not always immunogenic. Uh, and this uh, tolerance in this, uh, in, in this setting may be of relevance or be studied in organ transplantation. Okay, let us uh, me go to the second uh, brief part of my talk. So recently we published this paper uh, together with uh, one of my former students and Professor Grantin of the Cornell University in New York, that uh, beta-2 adrenergic agonist may bias TF2 and not to activate it, uh, the dendritic cell to work inducing an IL-17 immune response. So, peptidoglycan is acting uh, on the uh, toll live receptor 2, but when it's uh, in, 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 in um, enter the cell, is degraded and uh, and a part, uh, a molecular uh, component of the peptidoglycan <coughs> that is uh, uh, muramil dipeptide, activate another uh, pattern recognition receptor that is a no nucleotide or oligomerization domain 2. And this would create, a, a, by a, 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 this uh, uh, secondary pathway, uh, an effect on the level of uh, 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 gene expression and uh, modulate uh, the uh, uh, outcome of the TLF2 expression. So we took, uh, uh, first of all, we took uh, bomero derived nutritic cells, obtained as I described before, and then we incubated directly uh, in presence of of um, two uh, uh, agonists, the pure agonists for uh, TLR2 uh, alone with MDP, uh, that is muramide peptide, or uh, the combination of, of both together, compared the gene expression of IL6, IL23, P19, the, the, the IL23 is the family of IL12, they have in common the P40, 
but the IL-23 has uh, the P90 that is not present in the, in the IL-12. And so you see here that the presence of salbutamol uh, could uh, uh, increase the uh, production when, uh, of IL-6 when the dendritic cells were incubated with MDP. The reason uh, uh, also uh, increased the, the uh, IL-23 P9, expression of IL-23 P19 here, no uh, significant effect on, on, on the other uh, groups. Uh, decreased uh, the subroctamol on the other end, decreased both P, uh, uh, IL-12 P35 and IL-12 P40, it is in common with, that, with the IL-23. Um, here uh, we measured the cytokine production uh, in picogram per ml, IL-6, and we got a similar uh, results with uh, IL-6 increased uh, with uh, uh, the presence of salbutamol and uh, um, decrease of IL-12, and no effect of IL-23. This could depend on the fact that uh, the, 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 the action of salbutamol on the, in the, pre, on the uh, various uh, subcomponents of the cytokines was different. Was it increased P19, decreased P40, but for IL-12 decreased also P35. So the final outcome was that no effect on IL-20 by a, by a decrease of IL-12 production. So that the ratio between IL-23 and IL-12 would uh, shift in favor of IL-23, <coughs> in, uh, of course, in presence of IL-6. This suggested to us that this uh, uh, IL-23 IL IL and IL-6 uh, increase induced by beta-2 agonists could uh, bias the uh, antigen-presenting cells uh, towards inducing a TH17 response that is involved in cancer pathogenesis and uh, in, uh, also in auto, uh, in can, super, uh, can induce autoimmune diseases. I involved, for example, psoriasis is uh, believed to depend on high uh, hyperactivity of TH17 cells and other type of disease, and other also type of inflammatory diseases are also involving TH17 that are so uh, defined because they uh, uh, re produce and release IL-17. Um, <clears throat> so we, uh, um, uh, what we did was to go in vivo, uh, to go back in vivo and inject uh, the mice with uh, this type of uh, uh, substances, I mean saline, salbutamol, monoamine dipeptide, and in presence of absence of, uh, I mean, uh, the not two agonist, the TLR2 agonist, and, and the combination in presence or absence of salbutamol, and then inject the mice with uh, 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 Kiol limpet and mocianin, a protein, uh, that, uh, and then to go uh, after a week to take the leaf nodes and to reincubate the leaf node cells with the same protein and to see the production of uh, uh, IL-7 and interferon gamma. IL-17 is, is uh, uh, showing the, the presence of uh, TH17 uh, differentiation and interferon gamma that of TH1 differentiation. And as you can see, uh, when MDP plus albutamol was uh, injected before um, KO limpet and mosianin, the, pre the production of IL-17 ex vivo was increased in the lymph node cells. And there was no difference between the combination, but the, the effect of, uh, of uh, IL-70, the production of IL-70 when the two agonists were combined was higher than the agonist alone. And on the contrary, interferon gamma was reduced by the presence of salbutamol in all setting, I mean, in no combination of, of, uh, of uh, 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 agonists for the pattern recognition receptors. Finally, uh, we injected uh, directly uh, in the mice with uh, um, um, 
KO limited hemocyanin, KLH, in presence of norepinephrine plus minus IC. ICI, I mean blocker of the beta-2 uh, adrenergic receptors. And then what we observed, and, um, and then we treated the mice uh, with, uh, before, first we treated the mice with this uh, uh, combination of substances, and then we, uh, we injected the uh, ko hemocyanin. And you see that when the mice were uh, treated with the um, MDP plus PAM plus uh, norepinephrine, it was uh, um, uh, in increase of IL-17 production after a week in the developed cells, exposed, re-exposed to KLH, and the uh, presence of ICI reduced the, uh, the, the production of uh, IL-17. Here, uh, was this, uh, what I said, this was interferon gamma. Interferon gamma was, on the other end, uh, reduced by the presence of norepinephrine and ICI could counteract this effect. So, the conclusion is that uh, contrary to the concept that beta-2 other energy agonists are uh, always immunosuppressive agents, able to counteract immune and allergic disease, the finding reported here suggests that in combination with CLR2 and or NOD2 activation, stimulation of beta-2 at the energy receptor may enhance an IL-17 type immune response. Thus, administration of beta-2 at an energy agonist might conceivably be useful in augmenting IL-17 type immunity for the therapeutic purposes in some uh, situations such as in the setting of an infection where in the uh, microorganism product is stimulating TLR, TLR and not to activation. Uh, as IL-70 has been suggested to play a key role in the pathogenesis of psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis, our data suggests that stress uh, induced a release of other allergic agents by the sympathetic nervous system with consequent stimulation of the H17 type immunity may <coughs> explain stress-induced exacerbation of this disease, especially psoriasis. I thank you for your attention. <laughs>